All right, well, here's everything I'll be taking out with me to do the vlogging, different trucking uh, videos. Uh, let's see, we'll start out over here. Got right there, I've got the Canon uh, 70D DSLR. Uh, I have 24 millimeter uh, fixed lens, uh, 55 to 250 lens. Uh, this is more for when I'm out and I kind of see something. You, know, you can get some of these pull-offs, and it's a nice view. But with like a cam, with like a cell phone camera, it's hard to get uh, like a good representation of what I see. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, that's the 10 to 18 millimeter, which I use more for vlogging. It's it's wider angle, and then that is a Rode video mic with a dead cat on it. This dead cat pretty much keeps down the the wind and stuff. Uh, lens cleaner. Of course, a battery charger and a backup battery. And this is a Joby, uh, it's a tripod. It's basically moldable. I can mount it around stuff. Plus, I can hold it out like that while I'm vlogging. And that pretty much takes care of the DSL end of stuff. And then I move on over to the, uh, the GoPros. Which, what I have is a GoPro Silver here. And then a GoPro Session here. Now I've got this case, which is the waterproof. I don't know if I'm going to be using that case a whole lot. I picked up this case today. It's a skeleton case. It's got this side opening right there, which is allows access to this. So I can hook this, this right here into it, and then hook a lavalier mic so that I can get better, uh, better audio out of it. This is just a longer kind of, it's a ridiculously long lavalier. Uh, I'm bring it with me because you just, uh, you know, I don't know when when I might run into something that I'll need it for. Uh, the two main mounts I'll probably be using with the GoPro are these two suction mounts right here. I'll be using these to uh, basically put it up on the windshield, like one on this side, one on this side. Grab different, uh, you know, driving footage. I have, I haven't unboxed it yet. I actually don't know where it is. I want to find it, but I've got the remote control for that one, which will be kind of far away. And I figure, this one I'll just keep plugged in with power, and all I've got to do is just touch the top part of it, so I don't have to take my eyes off the road to do that. There's a miscellaneous bag of, you know, elbows and stuff, because I just don't know, you know, what I may need, what I may not need. Um, this is like the head mount. It hooks onto like a, uh, a hat or something, so if I want to do first-person views... And I got the uh, dual battery charger with two extra batteries. So I've got a total of three batteries. I got the chest harness. I don't know how much I'm going to use the chest harness out there, but I've got it. So and then I've got these two lights. They're basically just shop lights. I had, you know, a cheaper version of this Joby right here. So I just kind of clamped it to that. That way I can position it fairly well. And then this one came with a clamp. Uh, the inside of the truck is uh, pretty dark, so I just I want to get decent lighting. When it comes to video for me, like good lighting and good audio are they're pretty important. I prefer watching videos with good lighting and good audio, so I want to try to make uh, videos with those two things. So that's pretty much what I'll be taking with me as far as you know all this. Plus, you know I've got the camera. I'm not even the camera. This is a uh, Note Five that I'm recording this on. So I'll be able to grab this for different stuff too. So I think I'm pretty much set. So this is my cell phone and it doesn't do, it doesn't do bad image at all. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it really. I mean, it looks pretty good. The biggest problem is this is a uh, Galaxy Note 5 and I have a Apple laptop. And these two do not play nicely with each other at all. Like, I have yet to figure out, without, with the exception of using a Dropbox, I've yet to figure out how to get the footage from in here over to there. It just, there's, there's an app, it used to, I, there was an app I could install, and it worked on my last laptop and my last phone, and it's not working on this one. So this is just not real efficient out on the road. Um... Like here at home, I've got pretty fast internet. When I'm out on the road, uploading the footage I capture on the phone to Dropbox, uh, just depending on how strong the uh, 4G is, could take forever. So it's just, it's not an efficient workflow. So that's kind of why I've gotten, you know, all this other stuff. 
So, hopefully, meh. We've gotten dispatched. We will be be heading up to my buddy's truck here in a few hours, heading to Springfield. So there'll be trucking videos probably starting tomorrow for all you people that basically just tuned into the channel for the trucking stuff. That'll be back in full force tomorrow for you guys. All right, take care. I'm out. <laughs>